So I wanted to join the other college program because it kind of put me ahead of where most people are at my age. I wanted to try something new, mostly try, take a look into the medical field. What really got me to the early college program was the different types of uh, experiences that they mentioned that I can gain. A typical day at Henry Ford is packed with classes. We have classes throughout the day just like any other high school and then lunch is half an hour, that's nice. Yes, the food's amazing. <laughs> Shout out to the lunch ladies. I really wanted to get, um, get some experience in the professional field and also have a sneak peek at what college is like as a whole. I actually graduated with 90 credits that was all transferable to U of M Dearborn and I pursued public health and now I have my master's in epidemiology and health management. They get hands-on experiences. You know, the students are spent Wednesdays in the health program at the hospital. So that's a very exciting experience for them. And then early on with early college, I was able to get the exposure of going to shadow a pharmacist, going to sh shadow somebody and optimize or going to shadow somebody in the surgical department. Within a few weeks, you start to notice like, wow, you know, they're picking up on this like professional mannerism. Uh, and uh, yeah, they start to really enjoy the space. They love to go on the clinical rotations and those professionals that they meet are not only those who are going to teach them, but they become mentors and, you know, in the future, possibly uh, partners with them, their colleagues. I had to go get an x-ray last week and I went to one of the Henry Ford satellites and the person who took my x-ray was a former student. Having that exposure allowed me to use that for my current job. They're able to plot out which areas they enjoy, which areas they see themselves working in, and later on are able to make those decisions on which degree or associate's degree path they want to go into. And it's okay to not know what you want to do when you're in the early college program because it's set up to help you choose what best fits you. They can go down an engineering path if they want, an architecture path, so they don't necessarily have to stay in healthcare. So it helps them kind of decide, yes, I want to do this. No, I don't want to do this. On the one hand, asking them to make that decision in ninth grade can be challenging, you know. So we are aware of that and try to make sure that it's a well-rounded experience for them in grade nine all the way through grade 13 if they decide to stay. I love everybody here. Like, every person in my classroom, they, they're very sweet, especially the teachers. The teachers are great. You get to know the kids, they get to know you, and you can build a relationship with them then. They build relationships among themselves too, because some of these kids are coming from different schools. They're not just from Dearborn, they're from all of Wayne County. There's approximately 50 students that get accepted into the health field. But I'm going to be honest, I think I can name you every single one of them in a, less than two minutes because that's how like close every like section gets. But you get along with everyone, like that becomes like your tiny family. And you can ask for help or help people because you know everybody who's in the program. Yeah, basically we all know each other since it's not really like a typical high school class. You can like find like, oh, someone who understands me, like you don't have to worry, I'm not going to fit in. All of us struggle together and all of us succeed together. That's one of the highlights of this program. Our students here are in multiple buildings. Our students are floating between the college, between the hospital, between high school. So the students that find the most success in our program are the students that are able to work independently and, and find a purpose in their education. I have never been at a school where it's so supportive. The people are here to help you, not bring you down. Yes, there are a lot of things that they expect out of you, but they will help you, they will guide you and do, the be do their part, but you have to also do your part. We don't have to have that all A student. What we need is a student that's motivated, that wants to work hard, that's willing to put the work in. If you really want to do this, you are going to get through it. And, you know, if you're having trouble, it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to ask questions. Don't be afraid to raise your hand and say, Miss, I don't know what this is. It's okay. If you stick in the program and you ask for help or you look for help, then you will succeed in this program. And succeeding will get you ahead with everybody else. And what a savings they get 
a high school diploma and a college certificate where they could go right into the workforce or they can use that to go on to a four-year degree. Oh, it's free, free credits and stuff like that. And I'm like, that's gold, you know, you gotta go. <laughs> what are great opportunities for students and families? I do promote having students go to the early college and we will continue to expand our programs there. We recently have purchased uh, buildings to expand the early college because we see the real value in that. It's, it's worth it. It's definitely worth it.